education system I'm really concerned about. Talked about the food deserts. We have three here in this city. Three food, food deserts. Food deserts. Food deserts. Yes. Which means no grocery store mom after two months. Yes. Uh, yes. Within those school within those food deserts are low performance schools. Because you see the older kids taking the younger ones, get them to school, they stop at the convenience store and breakfast is a donut and a yeah. bottle of Gatorade. Yeah. Brain can't go too far on that. Yeah. And then also in these five schools that we have the problem, childhood obesity rate twenty six percent. Pretty high. You know, so but yet we're doing all these improvements in town, but no grocery store. So, you know, so it's like, come on here now, we're getting all this infrastructure. Why not an adequate grocery store in these areas? Yeah. And transportation is a huge, huge problem because yes, it can increase the bus service by carrying five bags of groceries on the bus yeah. with kids in hand. Yeah. It don't yeah. work well. Yeah. And then transportation, you take a cab, 15 miles one way. That's 30 miles round trip. Yeah. So, there's my talk on, and yeah. part of my talk on Yeah, no, I, I appreciate it. Um, we have the same issue in Youngstown with uh, food deserts. It's an issue around the country, and there's there's ways to help. Yeah. Yes, I have a question before you answer. Lynn, those five schools, do they have breakfast programs and the kids are choosing not to eat that breakfast? They do have the breakfast programs. That I can tell you. But they're getting something before they go to school. Sometimes, they, yeah. go, okay. they do have the breakfast program. Sorry, but, like I said, the disparities remain. Part of this is um, with the nutrition programs, having a real uh, tying the nutrition program to the health curriculum, is really talking to kids about their own health. Um, we have a provision in here where we want to make sure people have the mental, physical uh, health uh, resources that they need. Um, so, you know, making sure they have eyeglasses if they need them, making sure they get their teeth checked if they need their teeth checked. Um, part of this whole idea is how do you start teaching kids? I mentioned gardens and teaching kids how to cook and all of that. That's part of helping these kids learn how to really function at a high level. Obviously, a grocery store is a big part of that. But if we're teaching it in the schools, hopefully we can have some impact on, on what they're deciding to do.